Hi, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much for all you've done as a coalition to support the universe, uh, support, support the college, uh, support the opportunity it provides to everyone in the city. Uh, the city supervisors uh, need to act on something. They need to support this resolution to say that it's important. Uh, someone in every district has a reason why they go there. They go there because they need the class that they didn't get in college, uh, in high school. They need to get to their full university. They need additional skills to excel in their new job. And uh, we need all of you to go to the supervisors and say, this is why you need to support this. Somebody in your district, somebody in your neighborhood needs this university to stay open and needs every dollar spent on classes that's possible. So thank you for your work. Please keep up. We got a big vote coming on Tuesday, so thank you. Thanks, Peter. And now, Indra Graham, is a student activist at City College. How's everyone doing today? Yeah, thank you for coming. Um, my name is Indra Garawal. I'm a student at City College. This is my third year and my final semester. In the fall, I'm going to be transferring to the University of California. And uh, three years ago, before I came to City College, that wasn't a reality or an option because I grew up in a community where our public schools, they prepared us more for the street life and the prison environment than they did for college and for getting a job. So City College really represents a silver lining for me and many of my peers at City College because it takes people who can't come from a faulty K-12 through system, former inmates from the prison system, people who have been laid off and people who have dropped out of school a long time ago to come back and get the necessary knowledge, skills, and attitude that will mobilize us as well as our communities in the changing economy. So that's why the bill introduced by supervisors Cohen and Marr is really important because it helps City College remain diverse and also remain a school that's of quality academic excellence. And also, yeah, exactly, yeah. City College is such a and also, as um, the previous speakers have pointed out, this is not a City College problem. This is a problem that's indicative of the deprioritizing of, um, of the California public school system. How we're ranked 50th in spending for K-12 through in college spending, but number one in prison spending. So we have money, we have plenty of wealth, this is not going to us. So that's what we need to fight for. And the, and the resolution being proposed by the Board of Supervisors is a step forward for that. For the people of San Francisco, as well as the people of California to stand up and fight for our community colleges. Because without the community colleges here in San Francisco and here in California in general, there are a lot of marginalized, disadvantaged, and alienated communities who are not part of the economic system, who cannot contribute to a sustainable planet. And without us, our planet cannot be sustainable. So we do need to come together, not just for the sake of the school, but for all the schools and just for the viability and sustainability of our planet. Now, the fight for City College and the accreditation agency doesn't just stop with us, doesn't stop with the Board of Supervisors or the administrators. You all can get involved too because the ACCJC and the accreditation process has third-party comments where people from the community, students, faculty, everyone could come together and show the uh, accreditation commission and sit, fill out a form to show um, you know, how good of a school City College really is, what City College really does for the community and why it should be accredited for that reason, not for some reasons that we can control, which is the state not funding us. So the problem here is not City College of San Francisco, it's the state not funding education. And the bill that puts Prop A funds in, back into City College that, uh, that um, provides additional support for the city and the state to rally for its education system is very important. So for, again, I want to thank uh, our supervisors for putting these, this resolution forward. I want to thank all of you for coming out tonight. Yeah. Yeah. passed around that's what he was talking about you can send this in if you have any questions let one of us know and now James Chancini from San Francisco Disability and Senior Disability Action is here yes hi everybody I'm James from Senior Disability Action one message I wanted to communicate about City College okay it's not just a place where kids where young people go to get their required classes done to transfer on to UC Berkeley or to San Francisco State. That's an important part. They do that, yes. It's an important part. People get the, the 
the requirements out of the way, but it's more. The thing that I'm saying is like, it's much more. Okay, I work with seniors, people with disabilities. Seniors need more than just medical care, right? They all need medical care, but they also need other things. They need to be engaged in the community. There's food, home care, IHSS. There's senior centers, there's community, there's all this. They want to be an active part of the community. They don't just need home care. A college isn't just a place to get people off to UC Berkeley. That's important, that's a key, but it's more, okay? And that's what City College does, it provides more. They have a lot of community networks, they have a lot of non-credit courses, they have a lot of ongoing education courses. That's the important part. That's a very critical role. That's why we support using the Prop A money to fund City College. Because the community college, the community voted, the community said to use that money. So it should be done. It should be preserved. It's too important of a, a, a institution to fall away. So that's all I wanted to say. There's a link between seniors aging in place and living well in the community and a community college that provides education but also allows people to be engaged with the community too. <clears throat> City College is a great place. It's a great jewel. I've taken courses there. So thank you all for being here. And tell them, use Prop A! Uh, we also have one, one final speaker, Derek Azarda, who's been working with the Coalition and Disabled Students. Hi everybody, thank you so much for coming out today. I like to project my voice, which is why I like to be outside. Inside the office, I kind of get yelled at for that. But I've been working with the Save CCSF Coalition now for the past few months, especially working uh, on the areas regarding cuts to disability student services programs. Uh, this, the place I work at, the Independent Living Resource Center uh, of San Francisco, we work with people of all disabilities of all ages. And one of the mo more drastic cuts that is coming to CCSF especially is to their uh, disability student services program, which is laying off counselors, it's laying off uh, other mandated services that are federally mandated for students, and we're seeing people who can't get a counselor within three weeks, within four weeks, who are having to drop out of classes, who are having to not be able to realize that dream that every single student wants to re realize as well. So on top of all the things that we're fighting for today, I just wanted to highlight the extra efforts that are going on to try to save uh, the, the staff and the um, uh, funding for the Disability Student Services Program at CCSF. Let's go! Advocacy! 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 Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, so that concludes our, our uh, uh, speakers. And I'm going to tell you the supervisor.